Hello, my name is David Okendo and welcome to my studio. I have great news today. And the news is I'm actually a part of a collection, specifically at Rutgers University through the Paul Robeson Galleries, which is pretty cool. Um, I was actually surprised when I received the email that the university and gallery wanted to wanted a piece of mine for their permanent collection. And I was, to say the least, flattered and actually surprised. Yeah, I was actually surprised. Mainly because I've been, I want to say winding down, but I haven't been fo too focused on showing, you know, artwork in galleries. I, I kind of just more focused on evolving my work, more like a, I'm in a sort of incubator phase where I'm just going through different ideas and experimenting and et cetera, et cetera. So just the fact that I wasn't really pushing to be a part of a collection and then being um, uh, contacted by Rutgers, I was floored to say the least. And I actually had a quick conversation with Ananda Bell, which is the, she's the, um, director and chief curator of the Paul Robeson galleries in Rutgers University and it was I was pretty honest I, I said you know uh, for many many years I've kept pushing and pushing to show in galleries and different institutions and um, different art shows and art festivals and there's a point when I just started creating and or wanting to show work not really through love the love of making art and showing art but more like fear of missing out and fearing like losing opportunities and which is half true um it is half true like you know there's certain things that if you don't jump on the opportunity it may never come again but i just really decided to stop making work out of fear and stop make uh jump into every single opportunity th via fear instead of doing it because um i love to do it and i love to create art and i love to uh, share it and present it and create it and i think um you know nearing my 40s now um i think creating and showing and presenting and um all that through the joy of the joy of it i think it's sort of way more important now than um f the fear of missing out and you might be wondering what did i you know what did i provide and first of all uh they did pay me they did give me uh they did give me some compensation for the piece but i decided you know instead of giving them a piece that i already made i decided to make a font specimen and a font specimen is Pretty much is a, usually in typography, it refers to any presentation of a certain typeface to showcase its design and or use. So on top of the piece on papyrus, was ox blood on papyrus, um, not actual ox blood, ox blood ink on papyrus. And on top it just says uh, metaphrase calligraphy, and I have the whole alphabet, and also on the bottom I have the, uh, the numerals from one through nine, or actually rather from zero through nine. And the bottom is actually uh, my whole name, um, first name, middle name, and my other two last names. And yes, I do have two last names. Um, but it was a pretty cool um, opportunity. And um, I'm flattered and I'll admit I cried a bit and when I told my wife, I got really, really emotional about it because it's, it means a lot. It really does. Um, but yeah, so um, as you can see in this video, you see me creating the piece and um, I already provided the piece to Rutgers and they're going to frame it and hang it somewhere. I don't know where, but uh, I did ask them when I do 
present it in um, whatever space they choose to let me know so I can actually see it and document it and maybe do a follow-up video. But anyway, um, if you like this video, please comment, like, subscribe, etc., etc., all that fun stuff. Um, that said, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.